Thank you for calling Record a Line. I'm sorry? I, is this a, a business? No, this is personal. May I ask who's calling? The sheriff's office. Okay. From this number called us. <coughs> Correct. Can you identify yourself, please? My name is Sergeant McCarthy. Who am I speaking to? Oh, my name is Good Citizen, but you may know me as Tasha. No, I don't. But go ahead. Um, I had a question a while back. You guys had blocked me from Facebook for making comments. And I, and I spoke with... Um, hold on. Bear with me one second. Hi, Tasha. Hi, Tasha. Lieutenant Myers is Tasha. Kirkland. I spoke with Lieutenant Myers, and he, he didn't quite understand the, the gravity of the situation. Um, but yeah, I've been blocked from Facebook for exposing my or presenting my point of view. Um, and that was back in January. And here it is, um, Mar end of March, almost April. You guys have blocked me for making comments on your YouTube channel. Um, that's the First Amendment violation. Um, no, it's probably not, but what's, what's the uh, seriousness of the matter for you? It's my constitutional right, and it, and it is. If, if you want to look up, there's a, um, there's a case, Brian C. Davidson versus Loudoun, Loudoun County Board of um, Supervisors. It's absolutely a First Amendment violation. So I wanted to get your standpoint on that because it's obvious that I'm gonna have to take it further. I just I want to I, I want to know why you guys think that you have the the right to silence the citizens that you work for. Well, first of all, I didn't have anything to do with it. I don't have Facebook, and I'm not on the YouTube channel, so you what can't was, really I, help you with that. What was your, I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt. What was your name once again, just to, to clarify? Yeah, if you're recording me, my name is Sergeant. Okay, McCarthy, that's easy, it's Irish. Sergeant McCarthy, what's the, um, what is your um, office's motto? Well, I don't know, what, which one are you referring to? Well, you have a pretty popular motto. Can you tell me what that is? Why don't you tell me and I'll confirm or deny it. Deputy <laughs> McCarthy, that it's your, this is your employment. What is your motto? Can I assist you with a problem? Absolutely, yes. That's what I'm trying to... What, 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 so what is it? My First Amendment rights have been violated. Because you've been blocked from Facebook. Facebook and YouTube. Okay. But you're telling me that you don't have... But you don't have any control over that. Then that's why I asked you your... Exactly. But I asked, but I asked you your motto. Well, what's the motto got to do with the fact that I don't have any control over who gets blocked and does not from Facebook? Because your motto explains all of it. So you have no control over what your your counterparts do there. For the third time, that's correct. So your model is incorrect. Where do I have to go to, to get seek relief or seek? I mean, you guys, you're obviously you're 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 in law enforcement because it's all about justice and upholding the Constitution. And you obviously you took an oath to uphold the Constitution, correct? I did. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> me being silenced, that doesn't represent me being harmed or injured in any way, that I can't speak on a public forum from public officials that have blocked me. I don't see how your uh, speech has been silenced. I can't post on your on your site and your public officials. Right. right. That doesn't mean that you can't speak. You can make your own Facebook page and bash the sheriff's office all you want. Who said I was bashing you guys? Were you blocked because you were saying good things about the sheriff's office? I don't, that's, uh, that's, would it, would it make a difference if I was saying good things or bad things? Are yeah, you? it probably would make, it would make a difference. If you're a disruptive force on the forum, then yeah, you were probably blocked for those reasons. I don't, I don't know, because like I told you, I don't have Facebook, so, so I don't know what's posted on there. So dissenting opinions would be blocked and you would be okay with that? On Facebook, sure. So your oath to uphold the right to free speech is quelled by dissenting opinions? I think, I think that's where you're misunderstanding things. No, nobody is um, stopping you from speaking. You can oh, yes. Facebook page and say anything you'd like on it. Is your Facebook page, is it public or is it private? I don't know. How does Facebook operate? Isn't it all private? How does your department operate? Are you public or private? Well, do I need to answer that? Yes, you're a public official. You work for me. I want to hear it out of your mouth. That we're a public entity? 
Are you a public entity? Is your yes? Are you a are public you entity? Are yes or no? It's a very simple question. And I just I just told you we're a public entity and we're publicly funded. So okay. What do you want to hear? I'm and you're using a a, a pretty wide based social media platform to spread public awareness to people. How are you going? And you're okay with your media department or your you know your the other people that you work your colleagues blocking public opinion? Sure. If that public opinion is not uh, beneficial, I'm sure they block you for that. So you, so you want to? So you yes. so you're going to divert? So you're okay. So you don't believe in freedom of speech and anything that doesn't benefit you or goes against the grain or is dissenting that doesn't ben benefit the police department, you're okay with silencing a person's right to the First Amendment freedom of speech? I am okay with people being blocked from the pages, yes. Nobody is stopping you from having your own voice on your own page or anywhere else on Facebook. <clears throat> so you're, so you're depart so the Pasco Sheriff's, um, face the Pasco Sheriff's Office Facebook account is a private account. It's a private page. It's a private, and but you, so you guys operate in the private as opposed to the public. I, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how many times I've told you this now. I do not have Facebook. I, I don't. So I don't know I'm not asking about you. I'm not asking about you personally. I'm just. I'm trying to get some clarification. I don't know how much more I can say it for you. Well, what I'm gathering from you is that you work for the Pasco Sheriff's Office, correct? You're Officer McCarthy or Deputy McCarthy, and, and you're Sergeant McCarthy. Sergeant McCarthy, and your um, badge number is 1956. Okay, and you're okay with silencing people that may or may not have a dissenting opinion on your department. Okay. Let me, let me. I'm going to say this one more time, and if this conversation doesn't advance, I'm going to end the phone call. I am okay. On pages like what? That's what I'm okay with. You're okay with, okay, so you guys operate in the public, but when it doesn't work to your benefit, then you're automatically private? Is that what? I'm just, I'm trying to speak, you know, I'm trying to gather information here. Um, and the fact that you said you want to hang up on me without clarifying is very, putting, no, putting me at disease. I was going to hang up on you for no reason. Well, no, you said. Well, I'm trying to get clarification. I am the taxpayer. I'm the one that has I questions. How many times have I told you the same thing? Oh, please clarify for me, and then I want to go a little bit further, and then I'll let you go. Well, I'm not going to repeat the same thing again. I've told you that. So if you want to go further, go ahead. Who is your supervisor, sir? My supervisor is Lieutenant Cabbage. Lieutenant Cabbage. And his, um, do you have his badge number, by the way? or? I do not. No. He's not on duty tonight. Okay, because I know Nako doesn't answer his emails. A lot of people don't answer their emails. Um, but yeah, as far as I was concerned, that you guys had <clears throat> taken an oath to the Constitution that free speech was not to be silenced, and you seem to be in agreement right, to that. Your speech, your, your, once again, your speech is not silenced. Okay, well, we're going to agree to disagree. I've got pretty much everything I want. I have your outlook. I mean, I think that you think I'm putting dissenting opinions on there. And once again, I don't. No, I didn't. Oh yeah. I have a feeling that what you've posted is more than dissenting opinion. Oh, I'll tell you everything. Well, what, so where, where do you draw the line? Just uh, give, me, give, me, give me the example of what got you finally blocked. What'd you say? No, oh, I don't. You'd have to ask who's in charge of social media there. I'm asking you. And I'm, I'm I didn't, I didn't get myself blocked. Somebody blocked me. Who's in charge of social media there? Oh, you know what? <clears throat> Deputy McCarthy, sir, I think what, what probably got me blocked is I have a big problem with you guys going around and, and stopping and IDing everybody and violating their, their Fourth and the Fifth Amendment rights. Oh. It's happened to me plenty of times. I mean, I can't count the number of times, even on TV and in person, I have you guys on video where you'll just go and you'll, you'll stop people, ask them for ID because they look suspicious. Is, is, this, is being suspicious that a uh, misdemeanor or a felony? Any 
A any of them. When would you stop and ask somebody for an ID? Well, you can do it on a traffic stop. You can do it during a criminal investigation. You can do it just any time during the day on a consensual encounter with the city. Yeah, but they're, they're not consensual. But that's it. That's it. Because I've been involved in many. I've been stopped on my bicycle and didn't send them in an ID. <coughs> you guys. You were probably riding the bicycle at night without lights. No, I, have, I always have lights on. I'm not stupid. So why were you stopped? Oh, it was, um, it was your brother, Deputy Steele. No, I wasn't stopped. He approached me and demanded ID. I have him on video, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was suspicious, then I guess. I suggest what you probably do is get yourself out a good attorney and no. make more No, you guys, you don't understand. When you guys, you go and stop somebody, you do realize that you're practicing law from the side of the road, correct, without a license? I'm sorry, what you say? <clears throat> you pull people over, correct? You're a sergeant. Yeah, or when you, when you stop anybody. Okay, and then you write them a citation, right? Uh, I haven't written a citation in quite a while, but Well, good. when you have, you realize the citation's a summons, correct? Uh, it depends. Sometimes it's just a citation. But look on the back of the citation. It's a summons. It's a promise to appear. No, it's not. It's a promise to pay a fine. No, it's a summons, to, it's a summons to appear. It could be a promise to appear. No, it's not. You don't have to appear in court on a citation. You don't know what you're talking about. Absolutely. You, you can, I mean, feel free free to look me up. I had five officers over here for a noise complaint for four I hours. Look you up. I don't care who you are. I'm answering your questions. Of course you do. You guys are always curious. Did I even ask your last name, Tasha? I'll give it to you. My last name's Keeling. I didn't ask it. I'm giving now it. Now you're offering me information I didn't ask. It doesn't matter. You have it anyway. You guys don't where I live. You're, you're, you're telling me that people are stopping you and demanding things. Oh, yeah. It happened. It's happened to me. It's happened to Andre Rocks. It's happened to um, John Felix. It's happened to everyone in this county. Don't you see the irony in, in this conversation that we're having right now? Yeah, it's that, that you guys are violating our rights, left and right. Violating your rights? I can't get you to stop telling me stuff I don't want to hear. You don't want to hear? You're not, you're not worried about upholding the, the oath that you guys took or you took personally? No. In fact, you're continuing to talk, which is a freedom of your speech. Correct. And this is all recorded. Well, no, I'm just, I'm very, I'm, I'm very thrown off that you think that people could be thrown off of your Facebook site or the YouTube site because of dissenting opinions and critic, and critic. Uh, no, no, again, you keep putting words in my mouth. I didn't say dissenting opinions to get people thrown off. That's well, not what I, said at all. I asked you open-ended and, and leading questions, more so open-ended. And, and I'm not biting on them. Well, no, you, you refuse, my, you refuse to answer. No, you refused to answer. Oh, I did answer you. You just don't like the answer I gave you, so you reject it. Yeah, because I don't agree with you. I think that I think that I think that you're breaking your oath. I'm not breaking any oath. Okay. All right. Well, that's pretty much all I have. Your your commander once again was. I've told you. I'm asking you for clarification once again. I've, I've told you. You repeated it. If I'm being recorded, play it back and get it. I'm asking one more time. Is this the attitude you have with every citizen? I'm just not going to continue to answer the same question over and over again. That's not an attitude at all. <clears throat> so you're saying you don't work for me? And that you I didn't say anything about who I work for. Okay. Well, it's, it's, it's clear the attitude that you have. This isn't going to go very far. I was just seeking clarification. Maybe come to a middle ground. Um, middle <laughs> ground? On what? We're not at an impasse. What, in, what middle ground are we going to come to? It seems we're at an impasse. I've been blocked on both sites. It seems. I've told you I have no control over that. Okay, then who do I speak with? What is their number? When can they call me? I don't. I don't know. I have nothing to do with our social media. I have a feeling that you've already contacted somebody to try to find out who runs the social media. Oh, they don't. They won't call me back. You are You have two models. One is we fight as one, and the other one I have, and you don't follow either of them. If, if you're one, I would like you to give me a name of someone I can actually talk to that controls this so I can figure out what I have to do. I, I don't know. Okay. Would you like me to make a name up? That would be lying. That would be... Well, exactly. You'd be... So you'd be I tell you I don't know, why can't that be an acceptable enough answer to you? 
Well, I would think as you know, a servant to your community that you would find out for me and follow up with the correct information. If you tell me you're going to lie to me, that's committing perjury. No, I didn't purposely lie to you. I asked you to lie to me. You wanted me to make the name up. That would be lying, and that's perjury. Not if you want me to. Following off. Did I ask you to, did I ask you to lie to me? No, I asked you if you wanted me to. Absolutely not. I asked for, I asked for, I asked for factual information. And you're unwilling to get it to me. I'm sorry. You're unwilling to get that information and, and forward it to me. I don't know who runs it, but I'm sure if you gave me a few phone calls. No, I'd like to. I've, I've made plenty. I have like over two hours of phone calls recorded. I'd like this to stop somewhere and for somebody to actually work for me, as seeing as I'm if, paying taxes. If you've, got, if you've got two hours of phone calls recorded, then I think somebody probably wants to be part of this kind of thing. No, I've been. I've had elevator music for most of them. I'm gonna. I, more than you've usually gotten. So you're you're a sergeant. I'd like to make a formal request that you seek out the person that I need to speak to that you're telling me because you're not the person according to your own words. No, here's what I can do. I can tell you that you can call our operator during normal business hours. Which I've asked to speak to the person that coordinates social media. I'll tell you who that is. I've done that countless times and I have I got nobody. You probably did, and you've probably been told who that person is. Yet you continue to harass. I'm, so you're accusing me of harassing people now? Yeah, yeah, I asked you. Is that right? I'm harassing people? I'm asking questions. I'm not, have I harassed you? I just, I, I, just, I just asked you. I suspect that you've done this and you've harassed other people, right? So you're claiming I've harassed people. Is that, is that, a, is that a... To confirm or deny my suspicion. So you're accusing me of harassment now? I'm, I'm not going to entertain this. I'm, ask, I'm asking okay. for a person I can talk to so, or for so you to... you don't want to entertain it? I don't want to entertain this. I just, I want, I want to get an answer from my elected office on my rights. You are elected. You're deputized no, by the sheriff. sheriff. The sheriff's I'm elected. I'm a deputy sheriff. Right. You're deputized by the sheriff. It's posse comitatus. Right. You're under his control. He's responsible for you. You're part of one You're thing. Right. All right. It sounds like you're cop explaining to me, and you're not going to give me the answer. It sounds like I'm what? You're cop explaining to me. Cop explaining. Can you just tell me what that means? Oh no, I cannot, sir. Why I just, not? I just want to know who I need to speak to. Are you, are you, are you lying to me? Lying about what? You cannot explain what cop explaining means. What am I lying to you about? I'm asking you to very simply define to me what cop explaining is. You tell me you cannot. I mean, I'm, I'm going to deny that request. I want to have my questions answered. Well, why? Don't I deserve to know what the word means? You just accuse me of doing something. You're, you're, you you're a supervisor, correct? I am. But what, let's get back to the question at hand. What's cop explaining mean? Is this a, how management acts? You're my you're my employee, and I'm asking you questions, and I want an answer. Okay. This employee of yours is about to terminate these phone calls. You can terminate as soon as I have a name and a number, or someone will call back that can answer well, my question. <clears throat> so you're you're refusing to you're refusing to identify your supervisor. You're refusing to identify another employee there. She, she is. Okay. You said this phone call is being recorded. Absolutely. So All right. Do you um? I really I don't have a lot of words for this, but uh, I'm I'm, sure I'm sorry you couldn't you couldn't help me further. But it's kind of what I've come to expect. Oh, we all learn something new every day. So if you have a look, I try, I try, I can't you, you tried me that yeah, I've already you've already accused me of harassing people and this that and the other. When all I'm doing is asking questions no, from. <clears throat> from my public officials.
Oh, I was waiting on an answer from you. What was the question? Oh, I figured you you paused. I figured you had to gather your thoughts. I didn't. I didn't. No, was, no, I was just waiting. We, I didn't hear any question. I'm just sitting here. I'm responding to you. No, all my all my questions went unanswered. So. Okay, so we're done. I guess you are. All right. Well, listen. It was been a pleasure to speak to you, Tasha. All right. Wonderful. And I, uh, hope that you find the answers that you seek. Okay. Have a great evening. All right. You too. Take okay. Care. Goodbye.